going to start a series of videos called Common Sayings of Lost People and How to Answer Them from the Scriptures. Okay? This is the first one. Something that you're going to hear from almost every lost person that you deal with. They'll say, Who are you to judge me? I'm going to be just reading the scriptures. I'm going to put them up on screen here for you. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14 and 15 says, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. So you show somebody that scripture, those two scriptures there, and you, verses I'm saying, you show them and you say, okay, I'm spiritual, I'm saved, I'm born again. And when I'm judging you, so you don't understand a lot of the things of the Spirit of God, the things that are given to us from the King James Bible, um, because you're not saved. When you get saved, then you're going to understand things better. But me, I'm in a position where I am supposed to judge. And my judgment that God gives to me is actually to help you improve your life. John chapter 7, verse 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Again, it's a command. We are supposed to judge righteous judgment. But something that you have to keep in mind as a Christian is, judge not according to the appearance. Sometimes it's good to kind of remember what you used to look like back when you were lost. Okay? Um, a lot of you out there that are lost, you look at me and you think, oh, he's just a, you know one of these Christians, a little goody two-shoe, whatever else. Uh, it wasn't in the past. I came to the end of myself. The old Brian is dead. But uh, you would have seen me in the past. You wouldn't have thought that I was a Christian. Okay? Um, remember what you were before you got saved so you can have some grace for those people now. Um, but uh, we do have a right to judge people. In fact, we are commanded to judge people. As Christians. Why? Because we have an absolute standard of truth. And you need to tell people that. It isn't about me. It's not about my religious denomination or feelings or preferences. It's this book. Okay? This is how we judge right here. My opinions and your opinions don't matter. Unless they line up with the Bible.